Swimming against the current, swimming against the current. I think I need you. I need you. Trying so hard to finish, trying so hard to finish. Strong, but I need you. I need you. The first is that we thank God that we're alive because when we started this year, when I started my tenure, July last year, nobody expected that. Um, anything like this scourge was going to be a, a not. We also came into the year with a lot of optimism. And then just by the tail end of the first quarter of the year, things changed. And that became a very challenging one. So the year became a very challenging one. Since its inception in 1983, the Institute of Directors Nigeria has remained committed to promoting good governance practices in Nigerian companies and the public sector, in spite of the challenges experienced over the years. However, the year 2020 would prove to be one of the most challenging years, not just for the institution but for the entire world, with the advent of the coronavirus pandemic alongside its palpable effects on the economic, social, educational, health, political and every other sphere of life. But then came December, we started hearing the news of coronavirus. By March, when they were fully ready to begin the year, it came on us and everything remained shut, in shutdown mode or in lockdown mode since then. So what to do? We started um, innovating and rejigging our, our strategy to be sure that we at least we were not we were, we were not caught pants down. You know. The Institute of Directors, being a professional body, has remained focused on its vision to continually advance professional competence, integrity and enterprise, thriving in the midst of the storm to successfully achieve the year 2020 set goals. And I'm glad to say, despite those challenges, it's, it's been a good year for the Institute. Uh, though we had to cancel some of our programs because of the various restrictions. And it's, of course, it's for our own sake for altruism and everything. So we, we canceled some of our programs, but as the year went on, as we, at the tail end of the second quarter, we were able to come up with new programs that uh, we could do uh, virtually, that we hold virtually, and that would be of great uh, support and help for our members. While most organizations viewed the pandemic as a threat to achieving their organizational goals for the year, the Institute of Directors saw the global situation as an avenue to further strengthen capacity building opportunities of its members by organizing virtual programs to help them innovatively tackle the effects of the pandemic and stay ahead. I'm glad that we supported our members in the areas of their properly handling the challenges of the of the pandemic, uh, the implications for businesses, and how they can get around it. So while they were still in their homes and everything, we never stopped reaching out to them with various advices. And also we held uh, web a lot of webinars that spoke to the current challenges. Uh, it, it was a tough one. Uh, maybe we could have done uh, much more than we, we have done now, but we need to Thank God for what we have done so far. I want to thank all those who have helped us throughout the year. Very difficult year, I must say. Who have helped us in ensuring that um, the Institute uh, can run. We never thought that we would have induction ceremony for new members on online. Through the provision of capacity building programs, the Institute of Directors witnessed membership growth even in the face of the pandemic, consequently fulfilling its desire as a membership-based organization to continually provide support and encouragement to its members. And our approach was more of, uh, was very subtle and also letting people know that in fact it is at this kind of period that you need to leverage a membership of an organization like I would. Because this is the time you need all the support and help you can get. 
and we as an institute can give it. So that was our approach and, 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 and it worked. Designed and structured to be up to speed with the demands of its members and stakeholders, the Institute of Directors has continued to ensure that its members get value for their membership. Some of the 2020 events include Valedictory service for Alhaji Otiti, January 16, 2020. Visit to Registrar General Corporate Affairs Commission, 19 February 2020. Visit to the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, 20th February 2020. February 2020 Members Evening, 20th February 2020. Overview of Nigeria Data Protection Regulation NDPR Implications for Business and the Finance Act 2019 Impact Analysis. Council and Strategic Retreat 27 February to 1st March 2020. Leadership Strategies for Navigating the Impact of COVID 19 Pandemic Institute of Directors in Collaboration with Owando April 23, 2020. The Disruptive Impact of COVID 19 on corporate governance practices in Nigeria. What should change now and after the pandemic? April 24, 2020. How Nigeria can take advantage of the impending trade zone in Africa and the opportunities that exist for the agricultural sector. May 13, 2020. The impact of COVID-19 on aviation sector. The way forward. May 15, 2020. Women, Leadership and Innovation in a Crisis, May 19, 2020. Organizational statutory obligations and shareholders' interest in the COVID-19 era, May 27, 2020. 36th Annual General Meeting, 25th June, 2020. Members' Induction, June, September and December, 2020. Navigating Challenges in the Agribusiness Value Chain in Nigeria, July 3, 2020. Technology disruption in the tourism and hospitality industry. Are we ready for the fast forward and reset? 10th July 2020. Code of Ethics launch. 6th August 2020. Cyber risk in governance. The imperatives by Institute of Directors in collaboration with PricewaterCooper. 13th August 2020. 2020 Fellows Investiture. 15th October 2020. Visit to the Nigeria Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies, October 18, 2020. Annual Directors Conference, November 3rd and 4th, 2020. A National Stakeholders Forum on the Kama Act 2020, Matters Arising and the Way Forward, 25th November 2020. And Young Directors Forum, November 26, 2020. No doubt, the year 2020 has been challenging. However, the Institute of Directors is set to make 2021 an exceptional year and continue to build on the advantages posed by the pandemic, especially leveraging on technology more than ever before. Well, I think 2021 will definitely be a good year, a better year. And the reason why I'm saying so is that we have learned a lot of new things. Things that we thought were not possible. Things that we thought were, were, were not achievable have been achieved this year. And we are not going to go back to where we were. We are only going to strive and move forward. Yes, we are hopeful that things will work out. But certainly our systems will go on as of now until such a time where things change and then we would also make necessary adjustments. What I've seen about the, the power of virtual presence, the power of e-learning, the power of telecommunication and internet in the scheme of things. Those were things we never really took full advantage of. But now we say that with technology, anything is possible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, distinguished members of the Institute of Directors, we've had a very eventful year. And no doubt, we've all been very, at one time or the other, we've been very, very worried about exactly what we're going to be doing as an institute. But here we are, end of the year, Christmas time, New Year is on the, is on the, is on the, is on the card, it's only a few weeks away. Let us wish ourselves a very Merry Christmas and of course a very happy and successful 2021. Yes, 2020 has not really done justice to anybody, has not been helpful to anybody, but that's the way it is. 
we need to be hopeful. Except you have hope, then you are possibly you are not likely to want to have life, because nobody can say exactly how things will play out. But I know for sure that this time next year, by His special grace, we shall all be here to celebrate another Christmas. So in the meanwhile, Merry Christmas, and do have a very happy and very pleasant and very successful 2021. You are the light in my dark. Without you, my world would be so empty. Empty. Please fill the space in my heart. Please don't leave me feeling so empty. So empty.